Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, but you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Knight of Swords, wow, communication could be coming in um, suddenly, quickly. This could also be you feeling perhaps frustrated even. Wow, Six of Swords reversed. For some of you, this is a return of this person coming towards you and it's very unexpected. You may, um, I'm getting that you may intuitively have felt that this was going to happen. Someone who in the past, or it could be a Scorpio with death reversed, um, could be someone in the past who was blocking off their heart space, blocking off their emotions. They could even have been emotionally unpredictable or unstable in some way, volatile even. Um, there's, there's something I want to say, but what Spirit's giving me instead is pessimistic and narcissistic. So I'm not, you know, it, it could be that you've noticed some pessimism in this person, or they have nar some narcissistic qualities, or maybe you're like flat out, yes, they are pessimistic, and they are narcissistic, and I do not want them to come back. I don't know. But those, that's what Spirit was giving me. What I wanted to say, which has uh, gone, oh, manipulative, someone who used communication or rather silence and emotions in a manipulative way um this person i'm just saying a blockage three rever uh, reverse cards some kind of blockage with trying to move this forward um this person being secretive guarded um blocking themselves off from you do you know what's happened if they walked away or they tried to push this connection away it didn't work maybe you've actually even moved on um, in some way in your life, even if they're just seeing you making progress in a practical 3D sense, but they cannot let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, they've actually been watching you in some way. I think for some of you, you've been feeling them energetically. Um, for others of you dreaming about them, they could have been watching you online, talking to people about you, but for them, the reason they're coming back in is they're like, I can't get over this. I can't stop thinking about you. Fine. I'm just going to come in and talk to you. And, um, it does feel like the communication's out of the blue. It does feel like it's this almost quick, stabby kind of energy, you know, especially if they've not spoken to you for a while or you've not spoken to each other for a while. Um, if this is someone, let's say, you're actually in a relationship with, it could be you've been trying to speak with them about something in particular. Um, they've always been guarded or you're trying to get to know them on a deeper level or, or maybe... Um, you already know them incredibly well, maybe you're even married or something, but you might feel like recently they've they've pulled back. I just feel there's going to be some movement around communication in the way that you've been wanting, some kind of truth and clarity, but just a heads up, really. It's not coming through in the softest, calmest, the most gentle way. It's um, It almost feels like this person's coming through on the defensive for no reason whatsoever, especially if you've not spoken to them for a while and you're minding your own business and they suddenly phone you or send you a message. There's absolutely no need to be defensive because why? <laughs> why are you being defensive? We weren't even speaking. We weren't even interacting. What is the problem? You know, but yeah, just a, just a heads up. It looks like the communication, the truth that you've been wanting, but, um, I would say try not to let it get your back up because I could see this going straight into an argument and for some of you you won't have spoken for a very long time and the first interaction would, would be an argument. I would say if this person reaches out and it's it's in a way that you don't like, take some time, don't respond um, immediately. Um, maybe you even want to say, look, I think the way you're, you're speaking to me or writing to me is not really appropriate, but I think it might be about the way that you're doing it, you know. Um, just trying to be a bit calmer. Hold on, let me put the light on. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. How annoying. Okay, what else, please, in this current situation? Oh, look, yes, the fall. A new beginning. Aries, Aquarius. After this, you know, a long period of time. And because why? The lovers. They can't forget about you. We've got Gemini energy here. This is someone who they feel you know, that you're the one, they can't get over you, they don't want to get over you, they want a new beginning, and yet they're coming in like they're almost attacking you. Not, well, that's a bit strong. Like, they're annoyed. This person could feel that your soulmates are even twin flames if they, you know, know about 
that sort of thing and then we've got the knight of wands yeah six of cups reversed i do think for many of you this is going to be someone you're not currently in a relationship with but um you wanted a relationship with they were trying to keep it casual they may even have gone off into other um situations that that they were able to keep casual and sort of run from the big feelings they have for you but now they are wanting to come back so whether you you want them back or not of course it's going to be very individual um They've been doing a lot of thinking. I feel they've been resisting sending this message. Maybe they wanted you to reach out to them first, but I do not think you're going to. Um, or if you have, I don't see you continuing to try. So I do think they're coming towards you. Um, I feel one of the reasons they're coming in as this Knight of Swords is because they're thinking about the last interaction you had, which could have been a bit stressful or a bit difficult. And there hasn't been a resolution um, since then, whether this was yesterday or years ago. Um, so they're assuming you might still be feeling some sort of negative way towards them or about them, whether you, you know, you are or not. Um, this could also be someone you did say, reach out to you and they ignored you or something. So they're assuming obviously you don't appreciate being ignored. So you might be annoyed with them. Um, I think this person as well has been, get been getting lots of signs and synchronicities, lots of nudges to contact you, to move something forward, to reach out. If this is a situation in which you're already connecting um, and this has gone quite far or you are in a relationship or a marriage, they've been getting nudges to open up. Um, that this is a connection, a relationship, a situation that they shouldn't really sabotage. They will regret it if they pull away so much that you have to leave or that they push you away, you know? Um, okay, so I feel you know, this current situation, the situation you've been dealing with for some time, I do think there will be forward movement. I do think it will be sudden. Um, like I said, even though the feelings are very much heart-centered, the way this person comes across is a bit, a bit snappy, a bit too blunt or something like that. So I think just take a breath before you continue the conversation or respond. Um, let me see if they have matured or found this stability that it seems they were lacking before around their emotions or if it's one particular topic you were trying to talk about um you know have they are they more comfortable with this topic now are they more willing to discuss it that sort of thing ten of pentacles i feel something about life especially if there's been years um that has have passed here something about life has made this person mature and grow up um could be something changed within their, their family. Um, I'm thinking family as in like parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, that sort of thing. Something to do with finances, maybe getting really involved and taking their finances or, or home or living situations seriously has helped them to mature in some way. But I almost feel like they had to get out there and experience life um, in some kind of very hands-on way that's helped them to to balance out this Knight of Wands energy, because we don't ever want to get rid of this completely. This is um, passion, fun, going on adventures, but if it's not tempered by something that's more earthy, we just come across as flaky, unreliable, a bit like we're playing with people's feelings. Seven of Cups reversed. So if there were other options before, there aren't now, it's just you. Um, if they were prioritizing friends, or this whim, that whim over you, they're not doing that anymore. However, they are still pretty stubborn. They do still have a bit of fire in them, which, is, you know, some of you might think, great, because so do I. <laughs> and I want a worthy opponent or something, but, um, or someone who isn't going to take my passionate nature too much to heart. They know that maybe, um, sometimes I might be the lion, I might roar, but, then it's all good, you know, they don't make a thing of it, I don't know. But yeah, for some of you, you might not um, think that's so, so bad, but I do see some stubbornness. Um, I do think this is a person who has a pretty big ego. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I mean, if I haven't got the devil or anything, I'm not feeling this is terrible, and it's not like... I don't think they're dangerous. I don't think they are entirely unpleasant. Um, 
and egotistical. I just think they do have a pretty healthy ego and a compliment goes a long way with them. <laughs> I'll put it like that. Um, so yeah, you know, whether, again, whether you feel like too much has happened and you didn't appreciate that in the past, perhaps they had other options and you're like, well, closure would be good, but we're not moving forward. Obviously that's, that's fine, that's your choice. Or you might feel like, um, well, actually the options they had, it was just that they didn't want to commit or settle down or they had, um, you know, they were more interested in their friends than something serious, so I'm willing to hear them out. Um, but yeah, they're coming forward. Knight of Swords. Why for the fall? A new beginning. Okay, so let's get you an oracle message around this current connection and situation. big happy changes okay there we go as I said a big um, sudden change in the form of them coming towards you contacting you reaching out to you and with happy changes many many of you will be quite pleased perhaps with what this person's saying um, or that they're taking the initiative um, even if initially the way they're doing it is perhaps a bit jarring you still seem to be pretty happy about it okay so um, yeah, let's clear this away and then we'll have a look at New Love, what is going on there, and I have a different deck for this. Okay, so Spirit, what is going on for New Love for my viewers? So remember, this could be, um, who's coming in, who's around, who am I being lined up with, if anyone, I have no one particular in mind. It could be I have someone in mind that I've only said a few words to or I've just started speaking with someone. Um, where's this likely to go? Okay, so new love, please. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed. Page of Swords reversed. I'm getting a message that um, some of you might feel that you're in a very self-protective place, um, which is fine, you know, and maybe you're feeling like you're not ready to open up to new love, you're just watching this because you're, you're curious. Um, but Spirit's kind of saying if you genuinely are interested in new love and you're fantasizing night of, sorry, Page of Swords reversed, you're, you're daydreaming, you know, you're imagining the sort of person you'd like to meet and all of that, just do a double check. Am I actually open to receiving this or am I almost, am I, um, am I being too guarded? Am I being too self-reflective? Am I being too, like, am I looking for red flags everywhere? Um, am I also, am I feeding myself negative self-talk? Oh, I'm too this, I'm too that, no one will be interested or the person I have my eye on, they won't like me because of such and such. So obviously that won't be for everyone, but you know, it's just spirit saying. Okay, we've got the tower, so we have Scorpio there. For some of you, I feel, High Priestess Pisces, I feel that you may have been in a place of being single for quite a while, whatever you define as a while, um, or you feel like nothing's been changing, things have been stagnating, and there will be a sudden change. It's almost like it gets you up, it gets you out of the house, you're going to new places, you're making appointments at the hairdressers, or buying a new outfit, or something like that. Um, and you may not even have realised you, you had been feeling like you were stagnating, but it's not until you start doing these things that you realise, oh, um, yeah, I haven't been, been treating myself much or um, investing that much in myself. Now, with this High Priestess energy, I'm going back to that message of almost really analysing everybody new that you meet, because you can. So let's say you're having a conversation with someone face to face. If, well, not you, but say there are two people, neither person is particularly tapped into their intuition. So they're taking what each other is saying pretty much at face value. Um, but let's say you're having a conversation with someone and you are very tapped into your intuition. Somebody is saying something on the surface and you're hearing it, but you're also doing a read of their energy as well. And you're asking yourself, is the energy matching up? Am I picking up on any weird vibes? Blah, 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 <laughs> because you can. And yeah, that's a great thing to do, to know where you stand and, and to be able to read a person in the situation um, for what it really is. However, 
Spirit's kind of saying, we don't always need to do this. Not everyone has sinister intentions. Um, and sometimes what can happen is we might feel, we might end up not giving someone the benefit of the doubt. We might shut something down sooner than we need to because we're like, no, 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 I think I sensed a red flag. And it could be what you were sensing was their nerves or their hesitation and you were reading it, reading it as, oh, they're holding something back, they're lying. Do you know what I mean? So, so just the message about trying to let things maybe unfold more naturally in certain cases. Okay, ooh, Nine of Cups. Are you kidding me? The lovers. Now, this is very interesting because in the spread I just did about current love or, or love interest, we have the lovers in this exact position. So for some of you, I've just got to say that stubborn person who seems to be coming back into your life, if they find out that you're trying to move forward or talking to anyone new or they feel it energetically, they're going to double down. That might even be when or why they reappear in your life. That's a person who doesn't really want to see you moving on. If you're watching this and you're someone who has an existing connection, but you're also interested in, in seeing what else is out there, that person you're currently connected to does not want you going anywhere. Um, but yeah, we have we have the lovers again, Gemini energy there. Knight of Cups in the reverse, yes. Ace of Cups reverse, see, this is it. Don't um, shoot yourself in the foot or whatever the appropriate expression is there by sort of overanalyzing a situation um, because you know you can, you know you're intuitive, you know you can read into the energy, but sometimes it's more helpful to let it play out a bit. Um, right, okay, so. Do new love, is there potential? Absolutely. Nine of Cups and the lovers, not just any potential, the potential for um, a really, really amazing connection here. It could be past life, soulmate, even twin flame, but really just someone that you connect with on a deep level. Um, look at this, this card. We've got three people. So for some of you, the person that you meet in terms of new love could be in a third party or it could be um, even you. Actually, that's very interesting because I was saying about that that connection that you might be asking about that, you know, has been going on for a while. It's like this person's inserting themselves um, <laughs> and sort of energetically hanging around and making it a third party. But what I will say is if there is a third party in a 3D practical sense on this person's side when you meet them, that there won't be for long with the tower. Um, so it's not going to be that you're dragged into a difficult third party situation that's not going anywhere or anything like that. But, you know, that's just for some of you. But um, the lovers here, yes, a deep connection that resonates on a soul level. You also share the same goals in the 3D. Um, for some reason, I heard something about religion and faith. This could be someone you meet through a religious or spiritual inst institution or you share the same faith or beliefs or... Um, interests around certain gods or goddesses you might both be researching them and you you bond over that or i don't know something like that um i do see with the tower the knight of cups reversed yes being shaken up or you're having your comfort zone shaken up and and getting out there having more fun and only realizing once you're having the fun that you actually have been lacking this for a while but you kind of got into a routine and weren't noticing i feel um the opportunity and the potential that's out here for you in terms of this new love is actually being manifested by you through with that night of um, swords reverse the things that you're imagining projecting out there fantasizing about so you're actually manifesting this opportunity um the only thing i see the only um advice from spirit here really is make sure you're in a position that when this opportunity presents itself you take it because look we've got the ace of cups reversed on the back and the only reason i'm seeing you might not is because you don't want to be deceived you don't want to be tricked you don't want to be hurt i think you've experienced some of these things in the past so you're almost not initially paying attention to, to what this person's giving you at face value you'd rather figure them out um perhaps you've been in situations before where that's what you had to do but i do think you can trust this new person and what they're saying um and a balance a balance is good the intuitive stuff but also what are they literally doing and saying if they're saying we're going out on friday at 7 p.m do they show up at seven do we go out do we have a nice time yes okay great probably no reason to suspect that they're going to 
you know not show up the next time or whatever it is um and look in this um queen of pentacles card it, there's like this red over her eyes her 3d eyes which are closed so it's almost like she's saying i used my 3d eyes in the past and i accepted what i saw in front of me for what it seemed and that caused me pain so i'm not doing that but spirit's saying actually you can this time okay so let's have a little bit of a look maybe about you know how you might meet this person if you haven't already met them um anything that we can pick up about them okay let's see you might feel that you have been in either a, a particularly pivotal connection or all of your connections the giver and you haven't received um, so that could be a bit of a challenge allowing yourself to receive as much as you're giving and knowing when to stop giving you know um as in you don't want to get to the point where you start feeling resentful so you know having that balance signs we've got pisces gemini scorpio of course those could be timing so pisces season being now gemini around june um scorpio towards the end of the year okay let's see can you give us an idea of this person Ooh, ace of swords okay yeah see they are honest they are direct as i said you could um meet them or, or bond over some sort of communication around um something you're interested in here knowledge it's like an easy flowing conversation you both know about it you both have an interest yeah look knight of wands you're both passionate about this sagittarius energy there I'm seeing the moon poking out um, over here. Yep, yeah, you can see that. So yeah, Pisces coming through strong. Also, as I said, the timing. I was saying in um, a private reading earlier that we have a full moon. I believe it's on Tuesday. If you're watching this when it's released, it's, it's next Tuesday. So perhaps setting an intention there could be um, something you might like to do. Five of Wands reversed. Wow, Knight of Cups in the upright. Look, above the Knight of Cups reversed. You could meet this person when you're at an event doing something that you're really enjoying and your vibration is high and you're attracting one another because they're in high vibration too. With the lovers, there's that mirrored energy. We're in the same place. We're having a good time. In this card, they've got, both of them have drinks in their hands as well. So it doesn't have to mean that you're going to be drinking, but, um, you know, you're both relaxed and doing something you like and I feel like you do connect you you know you start speaking about something that you enjoy you're both knowledgeable about and it's like with the five of wands reverse there are other people around but you just sort of completely forget that other people are there you're not talking to other people um you're absorbed in this conversation that you're having Now let me think, if this is someone you've already met and this is moving forward, it could be that Spirit's suggesting doing more things together if that's possible or even maybe inviting this person somewhere. But I do feel in terms of potential, this is Spirit saying that, that you know, this other person or this person that you're interested in, they don't have other options. They're pretty excited about you. And so far, the interactions you've had, perhaps they've been almost quite direct or professional or business-like in some way but there's actually a deeper energy of passion and fun and excitement that this person's feeling towards you and that they would like to explore with you but alone um like they don't want to see you in a group um or to go up with a group of friends or anything like that it's it's one-on-one -on -one they prefer yeah six of swords reversed four of pentacles reversed this is someone you've only had one conversation with they think about it and they want to come back and have another conversation with you or for you to come back um if this is someone you've not met it's like you're returning to yeah it's either returning to a particular place you like to you used to like to go to or returning to a thing you used to like to do or you're returning to getting out there and having fun um and opening up four of, of pentacles reversed um and that's how you meet this person. King of Cups reversed. So they might initially 
seem like they're open for a good time, but it's difficult to get to know the depth of their feelings, which is why you might be with the High Priestess trying to read into what's going on. Seven of, of Coins, Two of Cups reversed. Now, like I said, if you meet this person and there's a third party, I don't think they'll, the third party will be around for long. feels like the situation's rocky anyway, um, and you won't be dragged into that. Page of Swords reversed. Wow. You got that as well. So, it, yes, and again, with that love, is it's like you've been manifesting each other. This is someone who's been feeling emotionally unfulfilled, unsatisfied. They keep on, um, they keep a smile on their face, though, so no one would know. And they've been thinking, wouldn't it be nice if I could meet someone who's like this and this and this? And then they meet you, and it's you. And this could even be if they're in a relationship already, they're feeling lonely, they're feeling like it's not the relationship for them. And meeting you is that final push for them to say, you know what, even if things don't move forward in this new situation, you know, with you, the viewer, it's a sign to me that I am not happy in my current situation and I should leave that regardless. Um, okay, a bit more about this person. There's an interesting energy I'm getting from them where they might come across as young or something. They might literally be younger than you, but there's a gravity to them as well that's not immediately apparent. We've got the Magician reversed, Gemini. Um, I don't know if they doubt themselves a bit or they're not, they're sort of disempowering themselves in some way or they are wearing a bit of a mask, but it's not, it's, it's not to be sinister or anything. I think it might be a mask in, in the sense of I'm deeply emotionally unhappy, but I'm known as the fun guy or the fun girl and I'm always cracking jokes, so I need to keep that mask on. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Cups reversed. They have been disappointed in love before. I also just got a message for some of you. If you start speaking to someone new online and you only have, say, their profile picture and they won't send you other pictures, they won't video chat with you, just an FYI, it could be that original person. If you have someone you're dealing with currently or someone from the past who doesn't want you to move on with the magician reversed, literally wearing a mask, this could be someone pretending to be someone else, but you already know this person. Okay, um, but the Magician reverse, Nine of Coins reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, they've been burned by love. They've had a situation, whether it's recent when you meet them or in the past, where they felt pretty good about themselves. They got into a connection with someone and they left that connection feeling worse about themselves than they did when they started the connection. So, you know, connected to someone who was, I don't know if they were learning some lessons, balancing karma, or what they were doing, but they left that situation feeling like I've now got to work to get myself back to how I felt before I even met this person. So this is someone who's also guarded, but um, the way you're, you're, you're coming through, it's self-protective, quiet, observant. This person's coming through as a bit gregarious, out there, fun, and you don't know they're guarded or self-protective until you try to get beneath that layer of fun to connect with them more deeply and that's when you realize oh i you know i feel like they're not ready to open up yet or i'm gonna have to this is gonna take a bit longer because we've got the seven of pentacles um what i will say is this this isn't you know a situation where they just want fun and you're gonna try and connect emotionally and then they're gonna run or ghost or meet other people no nothing like that it's just that I think patience will be required. I don't know why I said it like that. Patience will be required <laughs> um, for this person to feel safe, to be honest. Um, to start talking about things like feelings. Um, and I think to trust that this is a connection that isn't going to go anywhere. I basically feel like you both have had similar experiences in some ways, but you're approaching or the effects that these experiences have, have, on, have had on you have produced different results, which is very natural, that's just life. Um, so I th yeah, again, the love is mirroring each other. I think you will feel that, that you're very good for each other and that you're both having fun, but respecting that in certain ways you want to take things more slowly, be more cautious, but there's no fear of if we go slowly, is one of us going to get bored? It's, it's not like that. Is someone else, is, is one of us going to start dragging in other people? No, it's, it's not like that. Okay, let me get my handwritten deck of physical characteristics and traits. Um, so some of these might clash. Um, 
you know, because I guess it will be, not everyone's going to meet this, the, a person who looks the same. Um, but yeah, this, I just use this really more lightly. It's just sort of something interesting, a bit of fun. Okay, on the larger side, so I don't know if that means carrying a bit of extra weight, taller than usual, broader than usual, maybe it could be their personality, you know, um, what does it people say, larger than life, is that the expression? I could definitely see that with this uh, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Where's jewellery? So, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people do, but maybe it's that they have some particularly noticeable, interesting jewellery or something connected to that message around spirituality, spirituality or religion. So something very meaningful to them that you recognise and you're like, hey, is that a symbol of such and such? And they're like, yeah, how do you know? You know? Um, or maybe like one piece of jewellery that they always, always wear. And even if you haven't spoken to this person yet, but you know of them, maybe you always see them wearing it and you're wondering what's the significance of that. Um, I'm seeing an emerald actually for someone. We have straight hair. Grey hair, straight grey hair for some of you. Oh gosh, like this magician here. Yes, for some of you, this person will literally have straight grey hair. Um... Wow, okay, we have tattoos and we have a permanent scar. Um, not permanent, prominent. I mean, I suppose most scars are permanent. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get one more shorter than you. Okay, so yeah, they could be shorter. You could be shorter than them. Um, but yeah, just, you know, I, I would be surprised if you meet someone and they have all of these things. But just some things to look out for. I mean, obviously straight hair, that's terrible. That is a terrible sign. That's like half the population of, of everyone in the world or something. But, you know, maybe in combination with some of these other things. Okay, let's get an oracle message um, to go with the new love. Um... And you know, it, I feel you meet when you're having a good time. It doesn't just have to mean you're socialising or you're having drinks or you're doing some sort of hobby. You could even be at work, but like you're having a really good day or um, you had a really successful meeting, so you're feeling happy. You know, it could be anything. Um, okay, let's see. There's something better. Yes. This is the thing. I feel like both of you who are interested in new love have this feeling there's something better out there for me than the, the kind of relationships I've already experienced. I imagine it would look like this. I imagine it would feel like that. I feel like you're both manifesting each other without even intentionally doing it or, um, you know, realising you're actually manifesting a real, real situation, a connection here. And that's why Spirit's saying don't miss it, you know, when it comes around. And five of wands reversed underneath. This person is not like the other people you've known and they're not going to feel this connection won't just feel like one of of several you could choose from this will feel special um okay and if this is someone you already know i do think what this person is is starting to feel is you're making them realize if they or if they're already in a relationship there is someone better you um and there is there is a situation that's better this connection that they're growing with you um Maybe you're feeling the same about them. Um, but yeah, just a feeling of, okay, yes, there is better out there for me. And, and as you get to know this person, really feeling like, well, this is it. This connection is a better experience. Um, how I'm feeling while about myself while I'm in this relationship is better than how I felt about myself in previous relationships or situations. Um, but yeah, this is very promising. This is, this is moving towards something that is better. Yes. Okay, I was going to start explaining all the ways in which it's better, but I just don't think we need that, really. <laughs> We've got abundance on the back, you know, we don't we don't need me to do that. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I will leave this here. I hope this um, was fun or interesting or resonated or helpful. Um, thank you so much for being here and I will see you soon. Bye.